All right, this is a real video update from the founder here, Mike Adams. Thank you for watching. I'm uh, going to answer the question about what's our policy about guns and firearms videos on Reel.video. As you may know, Reel.video is launching this July. It's the free speech alternative to YouTube censorship. And uh, this is a project that I'm putting together. We've invested, well, I, I should say committed over a million dollars to this project in the first year of operation. It'll, truthfully, it'll cost a lot more than that because uh, the popularity is going to be so high. But uh, I'm, I'm filming a series of videos here to answer questions about what's our content policy on things like guns and firearms, uh, LGBT, uh, you know, gay, lesbian, all, all those categories, uh, religion, uh, abortion, other things like that. So in this episode, the Q&A session here, I'm going to answer the, the policy about guns and firearms. Well, you can probably tell, uh, you know, here I have the American flag behind me on this side and the Texas flag on this side. And the logo for Reel.Video is modeled after the Texas flag. By the way, you can see that on the lower right-hand corner of your screen. It's modeled after the Texas flag, which is kind of modeled after, well, not modeled after, but similar to the American flag in, in certain ways. Um, I am a pro-liberty individual. I am an American. I'm a Texan. I love my country. I love my state. I love my liberties. I love freedom of speech, which is why I'm building this platform. I love the First Amendment, and I love the Second Amendment, too. I don't care that much about the Third Amendment, since no one's ever tried to quarter government soldiers in my home. But the, the, the First and Second Amendment, and come to think of it, the Fourth and Fifth and so on, are all very, very important. Tenth Amendment, you know, very important as well. Eighth Amendment. Uh, lots. Gosh, I don't want this to turn into a history lesson. But gun videos are welcomed at Reel.Video. And if you're asking what kind of gun videos are welcomed at Reel.Video, well, uh, let's see, gun assembly, gun disassembly, gun reviews, uh, shooting guns, <laughs> um, blowing up Tannerite, that's welcome as well. Uh, basically anything that you want to do with guns that's not illegal. Uh, obviously, we can't allow, you know, illegal videos if you're doing, I don't know, insane, violent terrorist things with guns, then obviously we have to ban those videos. Uh, we do have to comply with U.S. laws. Uh, but, you know, short of, of anything that's blatantly criminal, we welcome your videos about, you know, gun safety, how to, gun cleaning, uh, gun tactics. We welcome, uh, you know, we're big supporters of the military and veterans, by the way got some special plans in the works for supporting veterans, and I, I'm a longtime supporter of veterans. We've done a lot of donations before, a lot of cool things, for, like for the Disabled American Veterans, the DAV, and some other veterans groups and so on. I'll, I'll get into that maybe in another video, but we're going to do some really cool things for veterans. We are pro-law enforcement, so we support local cops. Uh, I, I, in fact, I used to be pro-all law enforcement until I found out how corrupt the FBI has become under James Comey and Robert Mueller, former FBI director. Um, James Comey is a treasonous bastard who belongs in prison, in my opinion. Um, so I'm not a big supporter of what he did to the FBI, although I think I think the the day to day FBI agents, they're not all evil people. Maybe some of them are, but not all of them. So I tend to support law enforcement, but mostly local law enforcement, sheriffs and sheriff's deputies and, and good cops and good police who are trying to keep their communities safe. And frankly, you know, they're overworked, they're underpaid, all that. You know, we'll talk about that later. Uh, I support self-defense. I support concealed carry. Uh, I love to see women carrying guns to defend themselves against violence. I love to see uh, members of the African-American community uh, carrying legal guns to defend themselves as well. In fact, I even like to see gay people carrying guns. Now, you might say, that's a weird thing to say. Well, there's a group out there called Pink Pistols. And because I'm pro-liberty, I don't mind people being uh, gay. That's their choice as far as I'm concerned. But uh, if they're going to be gay, uh, they should be armed <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. You know, in case there's some gay basher out there, you got to be able to defend yourself. So <laughs> Pink Pistols, you know, the pro-gay, pro-gun group. I, I'm, I'm down with that. That sounds, sounds like you know, liberty to me, frankly, be who you want to be, carry a Glock, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, it's welcome to all groups. Uh, you know, y you're, you can be gay, you can be lesbian, you can be trans, you know, if you're, if you're pro-gun and pro-liberty, pro-Second Amendment, you're welcome on Real.Video. That's, that's what I'm saying. 
I don't care what your skin color is, obviously. I don't care what your religion is or country of origin, whatever. If you're pro-Second Amendment, pro, you know, divine rights, uh, liberty, uh, self-defense is a divine right, then we'd love to have you on Real.Video, by the way. <laughs> and uh, I may even actually have some of my own firearms videos on this platform at some point as well. And here's a real cool teaser. We are shooting a, um, an original series with former military members. One uh, is a Navy SEAL, uh, one is a Marine, and they've got some other people that are going to be joining. One guy I know who might be in it is actually going on a deployment right now. He's, um, he's a, a Marine sniper trainer uh, instructor guy. I don't know the official title, but he's very good at long range shooting. Anyway, we're filming a series, an exclusive series for Real Dot Video, that is a gun safety and how to course for beginners. So new gun buyers will love this course. It's going to take you from, you know, how how do you grip a gun? How do you uh, how do you line up the sights? <laughs> you know, which eye should I keep open? No, both of them, please. Okay, um, you know all these basic questions that a lot of people have. Uh, about about firearms there's a lot of people that are buying guns for the first time not at dick's sporting goods by the way thank goodness because dick's is uh, anti-america dick's is anti-second amendment and we do not welcome a channel from dick's dick's can um uh, dick's is going to be cut off let's just say it that way from uh, from real dot video we're going to cut off dick's on real dot video that's um an interesting little uh, explanation. Um, we do not welcome organizations that are anti-Second Amendment, okay? Now, you could be neutral in the Second Amendment. You could be, oh, uh, I know people with who are pro-gun, and I know people who are anti-gun, and I'm going to respect other people's liberties, right? If that's your opinion, then you're welcome to join the network. Um, you know, you, you got to be pro-liberty. You got to respect basic human rights, um, and I'll answer other questions in other uh, videos here about, <laughs> about, you know, the LGBT community or about uh, churches and religious groups or other maybe controversial topics to tell you sort of our policy. But I think you're getting a sense that we are pro-liberty, we're pro-free speech, we welcome a very diverse array of opinions. And because, you know, bottom line is I think that people who want to feel offended all the time are pretty pathetic. A uh, bunch of cry bully snowflakes and snowflakes are not welcome on our channel uh, And you don't have to watch any video on our channel if you're if you're watching a video and You feel offended then stop watching it. You know, this is what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why not just stop watching it if you if you feel offended by the video and we're gonna have a disclaimer probably uh, under every video that just says look whatever's in this video doesn't represent necessarily us so don't blame us for what's in this video. This is a platform. You know, it's protected by the DCA, Section 230, the Digital Communications Act. Um, it's a platform for free speech. As long as you're not doing crazy illegal things or un things that are unsafe for the community, uh, which we'll define. We'll, we'll have some community guidelines that are, you know, pretty well defined, I hope. <laughs> it's, it's hard to define some things. But as long as you're just, you know, a, a, a reasonable human being, who uh, is trying to contribute to the public conversation or the public debate about important topics, you're gonna to be very welcome there. And um, I'm carrying a Glock right here, right now, by the way, as I'm filming this, not, it's not on purpose, it's I'm, I'm always carrying it. I'm not gonna show it to you because I, I, I don't wanna just like wrangle guns around here on camera, um, but it is a, um, it's a Glock 19, uh, flat dark earth with, believe it or not, a light, let me see who's, who's the maker. Um, yeah, it's an HL series light stream light that's also flat dark earth. So it's a very uh, unique look. And I've got, um, I've got the, the Trijicon QD, I think they're called QD sights on this. So it's a big, big dot on the front um, and you know, glow in the dark uh, sights. It's a, it's a great gun. It's a Gen 4. It's a Gen 4 Glock 19, which works great for me as far as I'm concerned. So, um, and I got an extra magazine uh, over here on my waist and so on. And anyway, this is not about me and my, and my firearms. This is about you and your firearms and what you want to say, 
what the stories that you want to tell, the, the instruction that you want to share. Uh, so if you're a gun instructor, if you're a uh, self-defense expert, frankly, if you're a you know, hand-to-hand combat expert, that would be cool too. Uh, edge weapons combat, maybe mixed martial arts combat, Brazilian jiu-jitsu combat, Krav Maga combat. You know, if you've got skills to share with people that are in the interest of self-defense and keeping a civil society and a peaceful society by stopping bad people, uh, whether that's with, with, you know, guns, knives, uh, or fists, whatever it takes, then you're welcome on Reel.Video. And of course, the whole site is, is free to use. You know, you, you, we don't charge you a fee, obviously. It's kind of like YouTube in the sense that you can upload videos for free. You can manage all your videos. You can embed videos in, in your web pages. And, uh, you know, end users can watch your videos and they can comment on them. Although the comment system isn't launching on day one, it's, it's going to be a couple days later. Uh, it's, a, it's a free system, very simple to use, very easy. You just drag and drop your video file onto the upload box, you know, automatically uploads and transcodes it. You just enter the title and the keywords and everything else, um, you know, language, things like that. It's a very easy system to use. Um, the reason this matters, and I'll wrap this up because I'm getting a little long on time here. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, <laughs> look, I look down, the whole thing goes down. Um, the reason... <laughs> the reason this matters is because YouTube is, of course, going to be uh, heavily censoring uh, gun videos on, on the YouTube platform. They've already announced that, and they've already started doing that. So they cut off, you know, one of my favorite channels was the Military Arms Channel, MAC. And what I liked about MAC was that uh, the guy there, I apologize, I forgot his name, but he's former military, and he would review firearms in a very intelligent way, and, and he, would, he would show you, he would shoot them on camera, and he would show you, you know, what's the advantage here, what's the disadvantage here, how does it feel, you know, he'd give a good review. And I watched a lot of his videos before I would purchase a, a specific firearm. You know, if, if I was interested in a Tavor bullpup configuration, or if I was interested in, I don't know, what else did he have? Uh, some 308 ARs that he reviewed, you know, 762 ARs which I like, by the way, because I'm, I'm kind of a, a bigger guy. I'm, I'm like six foot two, and I can handle a 308 AR, kind of like that. Um, it, it, you know, why have a pea shooter when you can carry a 7.62 AR, right? Right, actually uh, penetrate some cover, you see. But anyway, uh, MAC was, um, he was doing a great job on YouTube, as far as I'm concerned, and they banned him. I don't know if he's back on or what, but, um, you know, they cut off his revenue, they clobbered his channel, and that's just really un-American. That's just, that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's bullshit. And, you know, guys like that uh, have a lot to offer to society and to our community, and he was providing a great service for a free society where you could go watch his videos and, and you could just learn about guns. So, so I hope MAC... Uh, military arms channel i hope they'll come over to real video if not there'll be other people who will for sure um also let me just mention the policy very briefly about sponsorship you are free to get your own sponsors uh, a lot of gun channels on youtube that have survived or that did survive for a while until recently they would go out and get their own sponsors so they would get like ammo companies or holster companies or even gun companies to sponsor them and we we are an open platform that supports all that so you might open up your video, you might say, hey, this is, you know, this is Bob here with whatever, you know, gun review channel. And uh, today's segment is brought to you by, you know, Bravo Concealment Holsters, or it's brought to you by Streamlight uh, Pistol Lights, or it's brought to you by, I don't know, you know, an ammo company, whatever, whatever the case may be. That's, that's between you and them, and we support that. So you can actually earn a revenue stream you have to get your own sponsors. You know, we don't pay you for videos like YouTube used to until they cut everybody off. <laughs> they don't pay anymore, really, especially gun channels. Uh, so we don't pay you either. Uh, uh, we don't want to collect your tax information. We don't want to know your social security number. We don't want to report to the IRS whatever earnings and all that crap. We don't want to work for the IRS, frankly. I can't imagine a, a worse version of hell than 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 having to track, you know, 10,000 W-9 forms for the IRS every, I mean, give me a break. Come on. I'm not an IRS agent. Why, why would I want to do that? So we don't pay you, uh, but you are free to go get your own sponsors. And we encourage you to do that. And, and actually, you know, you could run a pre-roll ad. Um, 
we have a pre-roll ad in front of your videos, by the way. We have a five-second pre-roll ad. That's how we fund the system. For, for longer videos, we might run a short mid-roll ad. We're going to have to play with that and see how, how close we get to break even in terms of funding all of this. But you can put your own pre-roll ad. You can put an inline read. You can put sponsors at the, at the middle, the end of your video, whatever you want to do. And there's a lot of good gun people out there who, who are already doing that in a very professional way. And um, we totally support that. So, and we don't have any restrictions on who you can have as a sponsor. So, you know, you can have a gun company, you know, you could have Glock, you could have you know, Springfield, you could, you, you know, whatever you want. You could have a gun company, you could have an ammo company, gun accessories, uh, what else, gun apps, I don't know, gun sites, like training websites that, that, that sell videos and things like that. Totally up to you. Uh, gun books, I don't know, gun training academies like we have here in Texas. And there's a lot of like gun, gun site, you know, places like that that have... Uh, uh, training uh, facilities, which I think it'd be really fun to go there for a couple of days, but I just don't have the time. I'd really like to do that. Um, in any case, you know, even, even camping gear, you know, prepping gear, outdoor gear, whatever, you know, what you should do, frankly, you should go to SHOT Show. If you're a, if you're a video creator and, and you have a pretty decent following and you'll get a bigger following with us on Reel.Video, by the way, you should just go out to SHOT Show, you know, and do a bunch of interviews, and uh, every interview you do with the company, post it on Reel.Video and then send that company your interview so they can see that people are viewing it and then let them know sponsorships are available too. So if they want to be a sponsor for all your other videos, it's a very polite way to introduce them to that, to that concept, that idea. Uh, it's, it's very, you know, it's, it's easy to do. As long as you have time and you don't mind SHOT Show, which is tons of fun, so why not do it? You know, if you, if, if you got the time to do it, yeah, what a cool gig, frankly, I wish I could go there. I, I don't have time. I'm running this, I'm running this whole platform. So people like you can go to shot show and interview companies and get good footage and put it on real dot video. My job is to keep your free speech free. My job is to protect your, your first amendment. My job is to keep the platform running. Uh, my job is to protect us from DDoS attacks and protect us from legal challenges and all that crap. And even then, you know, the media is going to attack it. They're going to say, oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a gun site. Well, it's not all guns. Frankly, there's tons of other stuff that's going to be on Real.Video. Natural medicine, you know, home gardening, you know, homeschooling, you know, lots of stuff. Uh, even stuff that's not even political by any means. Just like, I don't know, how to... How to how to paint your house, you know, videos like that. That's what's going to be there too. So it's, you know, it's, there's a lot of diverse subjects on the website. It's not obviously just about guns, but it's gun friendly. And I just want to be very clear about that. It's gun, it's gun friendly. And um, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I'll pull out my Accuracy International rifle and uh, do some long range shooting for you on real dot video or no, no. Um, the desert tech. I'm going to pull out the desert tech because that, in, in, yeah, in 338 Lapua with a Schmidt and Bender scope, the five by 25. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going <laughs> to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to blast something at, you know, a thousand yards with some 338 Lapua Magnum rounds there. That, that'll be fun. Yeah. That desert tech rifle gets the job done. Definitely. Okay. Um, anyway, that's, that's my take on it. Uh, my name's Mike Adams. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a real American. I'm a, I'm a patriot. I'm a Texan. I'm a gun owner. I'm a Trump supporter. I actually publish Trump.news, by the way, if you're curious. Go check it out. I also publish Guns.news, Survival.news, Gear.news, which talks about survival gear and some shooting gear from time to time. Uh, so check out all those websites. Oh, hey, one more thing. Your videos will eventually appear on those websites. I forgot to, I should have mentioned this up front. Um, we have a, a, a content-aware, intelligent video embed technology that we're deploying for this. So we publish over 300 websites, okay? Uh, those that I mentioned are just a few, you know, like guns.news, gear.news, trump.news, and so on. Um, very soon after launch, we're going to have an intelligent video embed widget that we publish into all of our articles. And what that widget does is it goes and retrieves the best fit video from uh, real dot video and it puts that video into the article and this is done based on a, a 
you know, an algorithm that matches the content, you know, the title and your keywords, your video title and so on. So if we're doing a story about gun control, let's say, and you happen to have a video that's about gun control on Reel.Video, that video could get automatically pulled in and published on that website without you even knowing it, without you even uh, doing anything. It's just automatic. Now, our algorithm has some logic for freshness, so the, the newer videos will tend to get pulled in uh, with higher preference. The older videos will, you know, sort of not be as relevant. So it's always about fresh content, but it's also about uh, matching the keywords and titles and, and content of the video. So that's a really cool opportunity because our content network is growing by leaps and bounds. And you know, we've got over 50 people now working for us as writers, editors, content researchers, uh, uh, publishing, again, over 300 websites. And that's expanding, too. We'll be at uh, 350, maybe 400 websites by the end of this year. And we cover a variety of topics, so many topics you can't even imagine. Like we have herbs.news, okay? Uh, we've got like food collapse. Dot, wait, is that, is that a dot com? I think it's a dot com. We've got collapse.news also. We've got, you know, survival.news, all these. So whatever videos you upload to real.video could get syndicated and frankly will get syndicated, you know, uh, just depending on the content. And so... Some of your, you know, in other words, we're, we're bringing you viewers, you know, in addition to your own viewers, we're bringing you viewers through our content sites that many of them have really outstanding search engine rankings, natural, what's called organic, organic search engine placement. So we're going to be bringing you tons of, uh, of viewers uh, for your, your videos. Um, well, I shouldn't say, you know, look, it depends on how many videos there are on that topic, right? So if there's if there's 100 videos on gun control in any given week and we have, you know, 10 articles, then, you know, 10 articles are only going to insert 10 videos, not 100 videos. So um, the, 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 the opportunity to get the automatic insertion into articles depends on how many videos there are about that topic from other content creators. Does that make sense? But um, th this is an automatic thing that will benefit everybody who's part of the system. So... I hope I didn't get too geeky with that whole explanation. I should get back to the Glock here. That's <laughs> that's a little, little more down-to-earth kind of explanations, things like that. In any case, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, I've gone way too long. Sorry about that. I tend to do that. Um, my name is Mike Adams, founder of Real.Video, pro-Second Amendment, pro-America, make America great again, use Real.Video. Thanks for watching.